Hey all and welcome to another video. This one is definitely going to be an experiment. Um, I found these two wine glasses at the local thrift store. Um, they're wet inside because I still, I, I washed them obviously because they're pretty dusty. Inside doesn't matter because we are going to be working on the bottom here. So, um, working on glass is really interesting. Um, it dries super, super fast. Um, yeah, and this, like I said, is just going to be a little crazy experiment. I'm going to pour the paint on the bottom, and then when you flip it over, the glass should help, I don't know, magnify the colors and stuff. So, um, I honestly have no idea if this is going to work, if I can keep the paint from spilling over, that's the goal, um, I don't know how I'm going to varnish these, I'm going to have to do some research if they work, um, but yeah, so to prepare them, all I did, like I said, is I just washed them, um, and then I'm going to use some rubbing alcohol and just clean the bottom off. And that just gets rid of any finger grease or whatever. And that alcohol dries off real fast. Okay. The colors I'm going to use are... This is Metallic Black from Artist Loft. Uh, Royal Fuchsia from Deco Art. Um, this is just the regular black from the flow acrylics and silver from the flow acrylics um, For this experiment. I thought I would just try these out see if they work and if they do these colors happen to be my sister-in-law's color scheme and she likes Wine so if they work, I'm gonna give them to her as a gift, but that's all contingent on something working here So I was thinking if I did like a tiny little dirty flip cup like, I don't think I even have cups small enough to do that. And I would have too much paint, it would overflow, and I don't want all that. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going <clears> to <throat> drizzle it in there and just kind of see how this goes. And of course, I won't have any idea what this looks like until it's done. But the good thing about acrylics are they are water-based, and so... Theoretically, if this doesn't work, I should be able to just wash these off, I would think. But, we'll see. And like I said, <clears throat> excuse me guys, sorry. Um, glass dries really fast. Like, I'm going to do um, a vase pour later. And the, the paint dries so much faster on glass than it does on canvas. Which only makes sense, right? I mean, canvas is porous and glass is not. The feeling that middle area is going to look like a hot mess. <laughs> but we'll see. It is like super crazy, crazy windy here today, you guys. Like insanely windy. I don't like it. It's kicking all my allergies up again. Just when you think you're getting better, something goes and screws it up. That's just me being whiny. I don't know these so the thing about these glasses and these bottoms are they are not flat <clears throat> they curve in so I'm wondering if I need to actually put enough paint in there now to actually cover the whole thing because I'm wondering if it's just gonna all keep scooting to the middle anyway And I'm just trying to go 
all the way to the edges there. I'm assuming if I can find something that is going to be suitable for a sealant on this, it's probably going to be hand wash only. I don't actually have a dishwasher myself, so I hand wash only anyway. But I will let you guys know what I find out. If I find something that's waterproof. And if I get too close to the edge, I do believe I can just go and wipe it off. We'll see. I actually have some Rust-Oleum <clears throat> spray that I used on a vase pour. Because that's... <clears throat> actually, the first person I saw do a vase pour was Mixed Media Girl. And it was really cool. And she said her varnish that she uses was this Rust-Oleum stuff. So I got that and I used it. And to be honest, I didn't care for it. Um... I don't know, I, when I do my vase pour, I'll show you what I'm talking about, because I have one I did, and I don't like the way the Rust-Oleum worked, but I haven't tried. I have two other vases that I've poured that need to be varnished, and I just haven't done it, because I'm, <laughs> I don't know what varnish to use at this point. I'm wondering. I'm you. Sorry if you can see my face, I'm just trying to see what that kind of looks like, and it looks really kind of not good <laughs> it's like olive pink um <clears throat> yeah maybe i should like swirl it hmm. okay i want to see what that did huh. okay Swirl it again. I have an idea. Duh. I'm dumb. I know what I'll do. That's better. Um, yeah, I'm thinking this didn't work out so great. But for this other one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like a little mini, like just a dirty pour instead of a flip. It's just going to be a pour. I'm actually going to add a tiny bit of water to this pink. Okay, sorry I'm not talking very much. I'm like trying to concentrate and figure out what I'm doing with my life apparently right now. I think that's probably enough paint. perfectly honest this is not an idea that I came up with on my own because I'm not that creative Can you that? Um, sorry just looking for something to kind of give that paint a stir I actually saw 
this on Facebook. Someone was doing them on there, and she hers were like amazing. So not an original idea for me, because I'm not that crafty. Oh no, oh no, we're doing it now. Well, good thing that Ren is a... bigger than the bottom of the cup. Oh no, it's not, I can't get everywhere. <laughs> oh God, what a mess. Like I said, acrylics are water-based, so. I will definitely <laughs> be cleaning these off. Okay. I don't know what that looks like, so let's go bend down again. Sorry if you see my face. I didn't necessarily want you guys to have to see my face, but. Okay, so that, see that looks way better. Okay, so bust good, but now there are paint drips all over the bottom here. So I wonder, taping a circle thing is really hard to do. It's not easy, I don't care for it. So I don't think taping it off necessarily would help in this situation. Um, so I might just have to wait, let it dry. That is a lot of paint on the top of there. I'm actually thinking I should jiggle it and get some more off of there. Um, yeah, and then I'm just gonna have to wait, varnish it somehow, and then wipe off this paint that's on there. Those bubbles. Um, yeah, okay, so that was interesting. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's a uh, success, not this one for sure. Well, I mean, it doesn't, uh, could be worse. I think what I'm going to do with this one, just to see, is pour a little bit more of this silver in there and then swirl it around again with that stick. Use the other side. And that one is just gonna have to be what it is. This one is a mess. My God. It's so much paint. I shouldn't have done that much paint. Okay, I'm just gonna do that to kind of help. Sorry if that shakes the camera. So, like I said, working on glass, it dries faster. This is obviously not going to dry that fast because it is thicker now. Um, when you do a vase pour, it dries real fast. So this, I don't know where I'm going to put these now to let these dry so I don't knock them over. Because I am a klutz and that would not be unexpected for me to do. I mean if I put them back there. Oh my god, so much paint on this one. I'm just gonna get a paper towel and kinda try to get some of this off. Alright, so I mean, there's not really much to show you guys at this point because I can't take you in for a close-up. I can't do any of that. It's just got to kind of sit here now and dry. I will um, tack on to the end of this video another video showing them when they're dry. Just so you can get a clear picture of that, I guess. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, experiments, experiment. I mean, I hope this acrylic comes off of here. I don't have any idea. I've never tried to wash acrylic off of something like this before. So, if I do this again, <laughs> if I do this again, I'm definitely going to somehow try to figure out how to cover up the actual glass part, because this, this way worked definitely better than, um, the other way so anyway 
to move that out of camera sight now. And that is that. Oh goodness, what a mess. Um, yeah, so um, thanks for joining me in another little experiment. Um, I do believe the next video I'm going to do is a, actually I'm going to clean this up and do it right now, a um, face pour. So I will see you guys later. Alright guys, this is just kind of a follow up on these uh, wine glasses. So this is really honestly, I think, let's see, I did these Saturday mid-morning and it is Monday around 5. <clears throat> and you can kind of see that the paint is still a tiny bit wet there in the middle. So these took forever to dry. Um, just obviously because there was so much paint in there. So if you'll remember, this is the one where I kind of took the popsicle stick and just kind of pushed things around and then I swirled it because it wasn't looking great but it's kind of hard to get without a glare it still ended up looking pretty cool I like the uh, the silver and black on the outside so that one is that one I'm gonna flip it back over because still drying now this is the one that I did like a dirty pour on kind of and so there's literally, there's paint everywhere. I've got to figure out how to get that all off. Um, but this one looks way, way cooler. So, yeah. I do like that one a lot. I'm um, flipping it back over because that paint is still a little wet. So i got to figure out how to clean that one off. I'm thinking uh, maybe rubbing alcohol <clears throat> should help. Um, yeah, so then once I get those done drying... And then make sure the edges are all cleaned up. I honestly have no idea how I'm going to um, varnish them. I do have, sorry I'm like walking around. I don't know. This is what I've used to varnish um, a vase before. But I don't know about it being waterproof. Because obviously I'm going to want something that's waterproof on these even though they're going to be like hand wash only. Um, but anyway, so I would say it was semi-successful, yes, because they do look really neat. Um, there's just going to be some testing still going on with these. So again, I will probably do another follow-up video once I figure out how I'm going to finish those off and obviously clean this one up. <laughs> Alright guys, bye! Hey guys! Welcome back to like the final part of this video. I know these I keep I'm gonna keep adding all the parts of the wine glass video onto one video So I know it's gonna be like super long and it's getting ridiculous at this point point. And you're at a really weird angle right now because I have this record drying But I wanted to finish up with these wine glasses So if you'll remember this one got a ton of paint all over it from dripping um, It just washed right off with water. I didn't have to use soap or anything. I need to go back and get a few more spots. Um, as far as this is crazy. Okay, as far as finishing them to try to make them waterproof, I I was thinking Mod Podge because I know they make a. I say Mod Podge, guys. It's Mod Podge. Um, I know they make a dishwasher safe one, but again, I live in a small town. I'm limited in what I can get, so I did find this one. It is um, super gloss brilliant. And the back of it specifically says that it is water resistant. So I thought I'd try this out. I opened it up. It was super thick, you guys. So I already um, coated it once. And I kind of just... Let me get you focused there. I made sure I came down here and covered all the paint as much as I could. Because I already have... Um, so hard to keep that in focus. I've already gone through and... I cleaned off the edges as best I could, and then I went down to this edge here with the Mod Podge. Mod Podge. So, um, sorry, I'm trying to figure out if that's a bee or a fly in my craft room. Oh, it's just a big fly. Okay, anyway. Um, so I want to test the waterproofness of these before I show you the final product, guys. So... Um, I'm just going to take a paper towel 
and if you know you you know acrylic is water based so that's why it was easily wash offable from the glass so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this one again this is the one that didn't turn out as great as the other one got my wet paper towel and I'm just gonna start rubbing and see if anything comes off and I'm not seeing anything. There's a little bit, but I think, like I said, I tried to go all the way down. So it looks like this stuff is gonna work. I'm sure the dishwasher safe stuff would work even better for people who have dishwashers. Like I think I said in a previous video, I don't have a dishwasher, so I hand wash anyway but these glasses are going to be a gift to my sister-in-law. So that works, <clears throat> and I'll just tell her to hand wash them. Okay, so for the reveal, if you'll remember, this is the one that I dabbled on and then I swirled it. So here's what it looks like. Sorry, I bumped the camera. It's gonna be kind of hard to get, so you're in focus, but. So, I mean, it looks okay. It doesn't look like super awesome or anything, but okay, so that's all right. This one, we did the dirty pour cup on, and it turned out, God, sorry, <laughs> way better. My God, I am so sorry, I keep bumping the camera, okay. I don't know how great the light is right now, but it definitely looks really cool, you guys. So there's lots of, um, I used two different metallics, if you'll remember, so it looks pretty cool. Um, I think the glitter would look really neat in there. Um, yeah, so really, you're, let me see if I can turn my flash on while it's recording, but I can't, so, hmm. Let's uh, angle you over here, maybe. Anyway, so definitely cool. I'm gonna be doing more with, I have more glasses, so I'm definitely gonna do some more with those. Um, as this one was just a test, definitely do a dirty pour. You guys are all at a weird angle, sorry. Um, yeah, so, I would say that was a success and I'm happy with it so I hope my sister-in-law likes them I'm gonna clean them up a little bit more and then take them to her this weekend so anyway that is it for this video I know it's like stupid long but I wanted to put it all into one instead of having like a trillion separate videos anyway thanks guys bye